everyone, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another episode of Civ 5 France! Woohoo! Alrighty, so it looks like we are actually at peace with the Americans, however, uh, within a turn or two I have a feeling we'll be fighting another liberation war for the Mongolians. Because... that's just how we do this. So let's continue to try and get my cannons in a good position. I'm thinking there would be a good spot for that one. And I'd like to preferably put another cannon there, uh, but it, of course the Americans aren't, aren't playing along with that, so we'll just get it into position. And uh, slowly move the forces around. Ah, uh, of course. Excellent! Rigged elections. Now it's like we're playing a real country. Uh, we will just leave that for now. The worker certainly appears to be done. Where to, worker? Where to? Um, we've already got two over there, so we don't need another one. I think we'll tell him to go work that stone resource. And yes, yes, as usual, I realize I've got far too many farms to, you know, be sensible about it, but it, it looks so much better. Look at the green, it looks lovely. Horrible reason to do it, I know, but sue me if you don't like it. So he's really playing a game of cat and mouse here. Old Washington. Uh, I'll just keep moving my units. And I really should leave a unit here to keep this area open and visible so we don't wind up with a repeat of random barbarians showing up. Oh, that's just not it's just not gonna work. I'm gonna need two units. Unless the hill works. Hmm. I hope the hill works. I'm fine leaving an outdated pikeman just sitting there. I don't like the idea of having to devote any more military forces to ensure that barbarians don't spawn there. What else can this do? We could probably do with a university there, methinks. Happy to everything else is looking pretty good. University it is. Next turn. Alright. Oh, 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 hold on. One last thing we need to do. Alright, so we've actually got the military positioned pretty much how I'd like it. Probably could use a few more infantry units over on this side. We'll work towards that, and that's going to have to be okay, I guess. Not going to get much better than that. At least it's only one little hex that we can't see. Compound interest is the most excellent. All right. Yeah, go that way. You guys go that way, and you go that way. Leave the general as close to the artillery as we can. Good range on that. Ooh, a new culture. Where can we go? You see, again, until we get into the industrial era, which maybe I should do first. Let's see if this will let me do it. Uh, rifling. There. Get me the free tech. No, it won't. Of course not. I knew that was going to happen, but I thought I'd go for it just in case. Excellent. Even more culture. Thank you. All right. So we're lined up. We look like it looks like we're about ready to go after on another or uh, go on another liberation spree. 
slowly get the rest of my units up. And... Uh, now where can you go? You're obviously going there. Hmm. There are trees over there. But what else could... Oh! We gotta put a trade post on that piece of jungle. Okay. Well. Let's... Let us be the bad guys this time. Well... Oh, we're not... We're not wasting your time. Oh, I guess, yeah, we had a peace treaty. Which is... Frustrating. I was getting quite a lot of good things for that. Oh, well... What can you do? Oh, we might be able to take this city on the first turn here. Maybe not. <clears throat> and, oh, no, you've already moved. Can they? I mean, they can. But I don't think I should. Possibly waiting a turn to declare war would have been a good idea there. May have been a bit rash with my decision to just charge into the fighting. But that's okay. France will recover, I'm sure. Yes, that deal can continue. Thank you, Gandhi. Alright. Well, let's just see if we can't make this easy on ourselves. We've officially got the city now, so that's good. And this cannon couldn't have even hit it anyway, so that's... that's fine. And... we've almost got those knights dead, which is good. Uh, we'll just use you there. What? Come on, there we go. Liberate the city! <clears throat> Alright. And let's just start whittling down their forces ever so slightly. And we got any more guys to move? We'll, we can move you there. Or, yeah, I guess there, that works. And put you there. What else we got going on? Uh, yeah, we'll just end that. I'm glad the knight's gone, but I wonder if it would have been better to leave my infantry there. It seems almost just a little bit dangerous to have the um, my cannon unit next to all of those Minutemen, but, you know, if... If indeed I do happen to lose, that's the price I pay for being reckless. As this entire war has been reckless, really, I should have waited until the peace treaty was expired so I could at least suck out the best of what I was getting from the Americans. Such is life. We shall learn from those mistakes, in theory, anyway. Hmm... Alright, for the time being, you can go up there and build a wood chopping place. Oh, 
Okay. Now, step one of taking Karakorum will be to move our artillery up. Um, okay. There. There, there. Aha! Figured it out. Probably not wise for them to attack anyone, really. So let's get the Americans questioning that. <laughs> yeah, no moving them. You can be promoted. Probably best to go with shock. Well, I, yeah, it, it wasn't. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't think my move's through. Oh well, it looks like it's working out. Uh, yeah, just stay there, bait them, if you will. We'll send the general there. Architecture. Stolen from Paris. Ridiculous. Alright. <clears throat> so we've got our two different branches. It looks like the southern flank here is tied up, briefly, mind you, in the elimination of the, uh, the Minutemen, who were here violently oppressing the... the Mongolian hordes. Quite rude of them to do that. Come on, get the last one. There we go! And we can move the general. Look at that. Uh, just there. And over there... Actually, let's kind of keep our eyes open for any more reinforcements coming this way. There shouldn't be, but we'll just make sure. Ah, yes, absolutely. Let's work together. Yes, indeed, India. India, Mongolia, and France. We're all friends. Come on, can France, can France, can Paris build anything for me? Um, maybe it might finally be time to build a Colosseum in Paris. That might be a thing. Yeah. Just get on top of the happiness thing now, because we all know it'd sure be a problem for me. Alright, set up the ranged attacks. And we'll just get those guys resting for now. You drop your trade post on those jungles. Yeah, rest. Rest and relax. 
don't need cavalry here anymore. That's a waste, so we'll just give all these guys a little chance to catch their breath. In nicely defendable locations. Well, except for maybe the ones stuck on the flat farmland across the river. <clears throat> yes, let's work together, India. We can be friends. And even an unmet civilization is denouncing America. This game, they have just not been very nice. So, is that a disastrous waste? Not really. And because it's a just war, thank you, um, it negates it. So we really just have the near general bonus, which is fine by me. Liberate! And that kicked the Americans out. So now we can kind of just... Just in case we need them. There we go. Did we get them all? No, we didn't. Now, can that guy... Ah, we'll leave them there healing. Them, good. Getting myself confused with all the clicking. Haha, -ha, excellent! Okay, so! Phase one of this war has come to a close. We have liberated Mongolia. They are now run, or ruled by the Mongolians. And everybody in these two cities is happy! Oh, guten tag! Crabs! <gasps> Bismarck, give me crabs right now! Forgotten! How about that? Excellent! <laughs> okay. Slowly start maneuvering the forces. <clears throat> oh, look at that! A nice, helpful worker, whom we shall gift! And a nice musketeer, whom we shall gift! And another nice musketeer, whom we shall gift. Excellent. Maybe even a general. <gasps> Look at that! And that is just temporary. I'll probably give Mongolia a few more units once the war with America is done. But I figure I can... Ha I can afford to give up those two for now, to institute the rest of my plan. Oops. What do we got? Spices and cotton for pearls and marble? Haha, <laughs> look at that! No! Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna happen. Refused. We should liberate Calcutta as well, come to think of it. I mean, that should go back to the Indians, to be honest. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Fifth most literate people in the world? Not good for culture. I, I don't think. Can't imagine that it would be good for culture, but, you know. Not totally sure if it's just this and what influences this. Oh, look at that. That would tell me what... Literacy doesn't influence culture at all. Who knew? Okay.
Oh, I thought I did click it. Good. <laughs> Freaking out over here. Uh, build a mine. Just, just rest. Aha! Targets! I... yeah. Probably. I don't know if they'll be able to get there or not, but I don't think they will be able to. And if he knows what's good for him, he'll just flee. Apparently, he knew what was good for him. It is well that war is certain. Aha! Excellent! We are now officially badass mofos with rifles. And we've got a spy now, so we should put that spy as a defensive agent in Paris. Thank you. No longer will Paris be the bastion of free technology for the world. Right. So now that we've got rifling, it is tempting to go for industrialization. Really tempting. However... Now that we're meeting other powers from distant lands, it probably makes sense to work on our navy a bit. Not that I want to go off colonizing or anything crazy like that, just it, it's, it'll be nice for defense to not be stuck with triremes while Germany and Carthage are rolling around in, you know, whatever ships let you cross the ocean. Frigates or what have you. Alright, let's get some lumber milled, wood chopping going. Choppity chop chop. Okay, so if our target is Boston, we're gonna want a cannon there. Ooh, and a cannon there maybe. Now, that's getting kind of close to Washington, but at least then they'll be in defensive locations, which is always a good thing. So yeah, so we'll have to split our cannon forces. Take you there. And start moving you up. And you can just stay there for now. In fact, let's just go scout that area out. Thank you, Cavalry, for being awesome at scouting. Got you to move. All right. Hmm. Let's go get that two iron. It's about time we have that producing stuff for us. So. Oh, blast it! Hills! That might not be a good location for artillery. Um, what can you build? You can build... I'd like to build something sort of navy-esque, but it's really we're so far behind that instead we will go with... Oh, well, an arsenal. No, that's way too long. It's going to take way too long to build that. Um, an armory? Would that be a good thing to build? I mean, our ships would get better training, so... We're going to go with a workshop. Because that means more production, which is good! Oh, my scouting party. Not a good place to stick a lone unit of lancers. Duly noted.
Alright, well maybe we'll just move in from the south then. No, one more. There we go. Seems how a lot of my units are already there. Well, except for all the ones in the north. Oh, they won't be stealing from Paris for much longer. I'll tell you that much. Absolutely, although, Mr. Khan, if my plan works here, and I don't really see a reason why it wouldn't yet, I find. then the defensive pact might not be all that critical to have. Uh, ah, last. Just leave you there for now. Yes, come to me. Okay, so this is okay. Uh, there. Hmm. I couldn't have moved this army in a least efficient manner, I don't think. None of those are good. I'll just fortify you until you're healed. You're gonna have to wait, sadly. Can we get you... Not really defended. I don't... I don't like that move yet, so we're gonna leave them back. Right, who can we hit now? We can, yeah, we'll weaken them, especially since my riflemen have to attack across a river, which isn't the greatest. But at least we'll take them pretty much out of the picture. Without too heavy of losses, we can really weaken that guy. And it should now be safe to move my artillery there and get that raining you know, sweet vengeance onto whoever. And where can we... There's really no good spot to put them. I don't like them being there useless, but... Treat them back across the river. And let's see, Oxford University. Excellent, okay. We will build that in a different city than Troye, because Troye is just, it's not ready. It doesn't even have a circus yet. So we'll build a circus. Ooh, tricky! Very tricky. Okay, that kind of makes things easier for me. I don't like the amount of losses I'm taking here, but 
It could be a lot worse, methinks. That pretty much takes care of them. Good, this will take care of them. Eventually, there we go. And then we can move them there, them there. Can we? Erg, no. No, we cannot. Okay. We'll do that. And rest. Uh, let's see, what can we improve? Ah, we got stuff over there! Wonderful. And here we need some more farms. For no other reason than they look good. That's a ridiculous amount of things you want to give me, but it's just not going to work, man. If I could trust you to not attack Mongolia the moment we sign a peace deal, then I'm all for it. But I can't trust you to do that, Washington. You've shown me time and again that you just want to wipe these people off the map. And France can't stand for that. Have a natürlich. Way over there. Okay. No! Gandhi! <sighs> and that's why I build all of my special buildings in the capital city. <laughs> it just takes too damn long. How long will it take you to build the Oxford place? Six turns? Don't even need to question it. That's where it's going to go. Orleans! And build yourself some... Even that is ridiculous! What is going on? Where's your production? We're going to need windmills, apparently. But that only helps really for buildings. Alright. Start training. Let's go. Let me down here, Orleans. Really let me down. Uh, let's go with some more rough terrain coverage, or learning. Training. Gots to get me that rough terrain learning. Oh dear, it looks like my rifleman's completely destroyed. Hmm, a little bit of a stalemate here. A little bit. Well, really, they can't have too many more units. My horses are much better than yours. And that's not an attack I want to pull off. Oh. Eh. Alright, we'll just leave you there for now, and you can just heal on top of that hill. Yes, build me a farm. You bet! Uh, sure, let's let's do that, Germany. We trust you. You can go down there. And we'll just do a heal instantly. That looks like a good thing to do there. 
Finally, end the nights. Thank you. And slowly start working our way towards the city limits of Boston. Just shoot the damn horse, come on! Get him well away from that madness. There, I've given you a Lancer unit who should be irresistible for you to try and shoot at. Yes, yes, focus on the wounded infantry. I'm sorry, lads, but you gave your life for France. Alright, well, believe it or not, my plan on reducing the French military size was not to just throw them away at the borders of Boston, but uh, I think to salvage any sort of outcome here, we will have to, to slink away. Uh, we want all of your gold. I think that was 475. We'll take only five a turn. Why not? Uh, no, I don't need that. What I do need is your horses and your iron. Not Certainly even close, not. eh? What about that? Excellent, okay. We welcome. Goodbye. Regardless, um... We've got a defensive pact with our brothers in Frenchianity, the Mongolians. So that's a thing. <laughs> um... I don't think that they will be attacked or conquered by the Americans again. However, because we've got a defensive pact, the French military will come rushing to save them uh, the moment it's required of them. The moment Washington decides, hey, you know what, Bishbalik and Karakorum are quite nice spots. You see, right away! No! No, how dare you ask me to do that after they've got look at that they've got little french made musketeers anyway uh what after all i've done for you thank you you uh, that's just rude all right, let's retreat the army back to France. And you're done there, so how's about a farm? We're good there. How's about a mine thingy? Why would... I guess... Yeah, I guess that does make sense to go across the road and then back across. Anyway, with the with yet another victory over the Americans, I am going to end the video here. Yes, I am. So, uh, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.